ولئن أذقنا الإنسان منا رحمة ثم نزعناها منه إنه ليئوس كفور السلام عليكم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Whenever human beings is in a state of distress and is not finding a way out of that distress, he loses hope. He gives up. He doesn't want to move forward. He doesn't want to strive harder and harder to achieve his or her potential. And that, of course, hinders his growth or her growth, and that basically makes him stagnant. And his stagnation in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the worst kind of existence. And stagnation is a state that often is equated with hellfire. So it is that kind of uh, attitude that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pointing to out that human beings often create problems by themselves by losing hope in their own ability to change and to achieve higher goals. So what is then he implying? He is implying that human beings have the capacity and capability to overcome their conditions. Now they can easily, through consistent efforts, through knowledge, through overcoming their weakness, through leading a balanced life, create conditions where they can defeat hopelessness. And hopelessness is not only in terms of the personal a lifestyle, but in terms of the community life, in terms of the country, in terms of the society as a whole. At times, we face challenges in our life. And sometimes it appears that the challenge is so tough and so intense that we would not be able to overcome and we will not be able to uh, you know, take it. But if we pool our resources together and if we rely on the divine rules and divine guidance and principles and do not lose hope then definitely we can overcome and the history is an evidence to that fact that whenever people have developed that self-confidence in their ability to change things do happen thank you very much assalamu alaikum